me and my friends were thought about um, what's the flower power, and then we uh, thought uh, the witches in ancient time, uh, especially in medieval era, they used the flower power and plants power, and then they were victimized uh, because they had um, some power of, about the plants. They knew something more than normal people, and unfortunately they were victimized uh, as a woman, and we, uh, as a woman, with I, I also thought um, some women who has got more knowledge and information about nature uh, can be thought still dangerous by the society. It's still happening um, in many, many uh, parts of the world. Um, so uh, I thought, why don't we retrieve uh, the old uh, knowledge and power of the plants, which has been used by uh, the old witches. Um, so. Uh, basically, we are using the plant's power and flower power, and then these powerful and functional flowers are uh, shown in my garden, in the middle, um, around my pond. But at the same time, in a visual way, to show how powerful the plants and the flowers are, uh, I use this color, um, red and burgundy, and also dark violet and, and, and black which is the color of uh, blood, color of danger, color of heat. Flower power can be symbolized in a visual way to impact the visitors, how uh, flowers having, uh, have a function as at, at the same time visual power. So uh, once you step into my garden, then you may feel you are in the sea of red flower. That's what I want to uh, provide as an experience. At the same time, my role in this garden is providing uh, a, a different ex experience uh, still under the same theme of flower power.